Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Kim. So in this video, we're going to show you a really cool gift that a neighbor gave us that will go in the future cabin. And then we get a lot accomplished on the teardown. So stay tuned and hang with us. It was really, really hot this weekend, but Dwayne and I got a lot done. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you still want to keep watching what we're putting out, hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll keep recording. Thank you. And then we get a little further. Hello, little bunny. Hello, Peter. Oh, Peter. You gotta go, Peter. Go, go, go. Peter. <laughs> well, good morning from camp. So it's Saturday morning, we just got here and we had to take a little trip this morning because a very generous neighbor just donated a very unique bathroom uh, cabinet and sink to us for the future cabin. So I wanna show this to you as I tell you the story about the, this cabinet and that he shared with us. So hold on, let me turn this around. Okay, so when we pull it down, you'll see it better, but apparently this was in a multi-millionaire's house that he had it commissioned for his bathroom, and we were just noticing, like, the very intricate, like, wood carving. There's, like, no paint globs or anything. It's, like, it was very well made. And so our neighbors had this in storage for quite a while. And there's a bronze sink in it that I'll show you here in a minute. And it's got beaten knobs and it's just very, very well made. So now I have to go back and redesign our future cabin floor plan to accommodate this super cool gift. Okay, this is the top of it. It's bronze. And it's like etched. Super cool. Mm, it's a little pounded. It's really cool. You can tell it's handmade. Oh yeah, you see the pounding. It's handmade. The light, if I get the light just right. Mm -hmm. It's really it's cool. Underneath. That would seem pretty good yeah. shape. Yeah, it's all beat bronze. It's beat, you can see it underneath? Yeah. Oh, I don't have any, I don't yeah. have good light, but. But that's good enough, you see how it is. It's really cool, what a beautiful gift. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely gonna go to use. And it's very much appreciated. Our, uh, cabin oh yeah, is a little piece that we accidentally knocked off. Is that still underneath the cabinet? Oh well. Wow. Yeah, it's right here. We'll probably put that back on. Uh, baby rat nail. Cool. All right, it's the future bathroom sink. Yeah. We'll put some legs on it because it's so short. It is short. Like, maybe... We'll have to get the... Yeah, we have the wall faucet we tore out of the... But you'd buy a better one. That doesn't fit the style. Okay. Yeah. We'll buy a pretty new one. Right. Okay. Back to work. Okay, since we're in storage, we're looking at the little stove that we... Picked up. This is gonna be in the cabin oh. too. It's we. It was in really good shape, but it's a wood burning stove. You can see all the new stainless steel that I put in here for yeah. the burner. So this is from Germany. We picked this up. The top of it is covered, but you can cook on the top, yeah, which we're not gonna really cook on it. We can. I know we can. We're gonna. Hook up some plumbing, or not plumbing, piping, stovepipe to the back of it. But isn't it so cute? This is all nickel. Yeah. 
So that will end up in the cabin too. You got probably a, about four rolls of nickels in this. Four rolls of nickels. <laughs> no, a whole lot more than that. But that, that is a very pretty restored wood burning oven cook stove that will go in the cabin. Yep. Okay. Now we got to go to the cabin and start working. Yes. Grab okay. We're back up here. This is what we accomplished last weekend. We got it down to this far and noticed that the foundation collapsed, as you can tell right there. And so we are working our way to be able to get the tractor in here and be able to start popping those boards up. And Dwayne and I are up here by ourselves this weekend. So we'll see what we can get done. Okay, so we got that little part of the wall off and we noticed that, or I noticed, a bunch of this chinking that we were pulling off the logs is full of nails. The logs we took over there have a bunch of nails and they're split in half. The few that we saved were actually still really heavy and we could use them for firewood or something. Now we're going to try to get in here and clean this up and get the tractor in. Making a clean area for us to pull the trailer or the tractor in. Okay, so maybe I need to go help. Okay, now we have to clean out the inside. I'm gonna go see if I can set you guys up on those logs over there. And you can watch this craziness that we call living the dream. How does this look for a viewpoint? Hot. catch honey <laughs> we found a football <laughs> okay so what's the next plan of attack working on the ply board I want to work over to there I could get that out of there right now and throw it over in here uh, I want to scoop up all this right here and get over there that has a million nails because I'm gonna stab myself over yeah, there um, I could I could get that right now I think if I move that out of the way Grab that real quick. 
Okay, so that's either gonna make things better or worse. Oh, uh, well, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I've got a big old honking sledge in there. And I'm come through here and pound this whole beam right off the little joists or, well, yeah, or we could just separate them with pry bars like we've been doing. But I was gonna try that sledge, see if it does anything. And that board is glued to those joists. That's why they were so hard to get them off. Yeah, that's because of the rodents pooping and peeing on the wood. Just, they just glued together now. Probably. And the rust from the nails and... It's gross. Yeah. Okay, so... I could change, so I could cut all that. Oh, yeah. Why didn't we think about that? That's way that's easier. Well, that's what we did to the other ones. I know. Did we just take it up in pieces? Let's yeah, do I'll that. Finish. Cool. That made quick work of that. Yeah. Why didn't we think about that a long time ago? Yeah, we're over it. We made up our mind. We decided we're building a tiny cabin. And we're not going to use any of this garbage. And we're not using any crappy wood. Look how red my face is. Okay. Suntanned. Or sunburned or overheated. Let me show you. It's 12 o'clock exactly. We're going to go take lunch. Let me show you where we're at. Okay. So, the main floor is gone. This was the bedroom originally. If you guys go back and see the first videos in the first season, that was a bedroom. And so those boards are gone. We just have to take out this piece. That's all going to get burned, I think. We have one log wall right there. We'll break apart probably this afternoon when it cools off. And these little log walls, same thing. Probably can just pick them up and throw them in the wood pile. So we're going to go eat. I think we should go take an ATV ride to our favorite shady spot. <laughs> Brother Jay's. Yeah, I think we should go over there. They have shade and it feels good. Okay. Okay, we finished lunch and we decided that we're going to finish this area of the cabin because we're so close before we go on our ATV ride. So hang with us. Okay, we went on our ride, now we're back. We're gonna do maybe one more hour of work since we have some shade. And then we're gonna call it quits for the night.
Okay, this is the last of the cabin. This is peace. This was the top. That's crazy. It seems bigger down here, having it on the ground. Yeah. That was the top of it. And then we have that little bit of wood over there. Right over there. Okay, so this is it for the day. Probably, I bet tomorrow we'll do all this and clear this back part out so we can drive all the way around the cabin. These are elderberry bushes and they were there. This one we accidentally trampled. We've run over it a million times and that's enough. What do you guys think for a day's work? I think we did pretty good.